We had some friends bring by a vintage Winnebago uh, just to kind of go through it, do safety inspection. It had bad shocks on it that we saw, and then we found these really disturbingly bad uh, brake rotors. Uh, they had an incident where they were coming down a mountain and overheated the brakes. The brake, front brakes were glowing red, but they never realized that they got, had any damage to them. Uh, and as soon as we looked at it, we instantly saw this issue, and then that's when I heard about the story about the mountain. So uh, trying to find parts for this were a little hard because it's a Spartan chassis that's on there. Spartan makes a lot of fire trucks and stuff, um, and this wasn't, it was kind of odds and ends that were put together on this from the factory. So uh, it was very difficult to locate some parts, but once we finally did, uh, we had to do a little specialty work on them, as you'll see here, but uh, it, it was here about two weeks, uh, a lot longer than we thought. Uh, just to do brake job and shocks and a little safety inspection, but I uh, hope you enjoy it. Go all the way through. That's just one. And that's just the front side. Let's go to the back. These brake rotors have multiple part numbers on them. It looks like this is for a 10 hole. So it's apparently the casting is for all of them and then depending on how they drill them or finish the, the casting. But if it's a 10 hole, it has a diameter of the, the hole diameter of the 0.594, I think is what it says there. That would be this part number. And then there's a five hole, two different six holes Hole number a six hole with the skinnier diameter, and then the one that we have, which is a six hole with the larger diameter, 0.791 diameter holes, and it's a 122700. But we ordered this part number uh, by that, and everything is right on here except for this inside dimension was wrong. Um, this, this is about a quarter inch smaller than what we need it to be on the new one so they had to it wouldn't fit on the hub so we took it to a machine shop and had jeff our friend jeff open it up so it would fit on the hub but all the other dimensions the height of the hat the thickness of the rotor the overall dimension uh width on the diameter everything was the same but the inside hole was wrong for this part number we also ordered this part number first that's when we realized that on here that that's for a skinnier hole it was still a six hole but the lug nuts were too the studs were too skinny the holes for them so that was our part number and we obviously had to replace them because these were broken all the way through and this one was in three places and all three spots were all the way through that thing was gonna come apart Straight there you go.
Good on that side. That mirror sticks out pretty far, so careful. Bert, come this way a little bit. You got plenty of room over here. Come this way. Go ahead and start cutting it. Cut it hard. That's good. Well, one thing, you got excellent visibility in this thing. Yeah. My goodness. You good, baby? Good. Okay, here we go. Brake check, get a feel for them. Uh, mm. Mm. They're there. <laughs> Look at this crazy how much rain we've had today. I know. Okay, here we go down the hill. <laughs> yeah, I got a little bit of a washout on the ground. <laughs> yeah. But the trench is for the most part we're working. This yeah. side is working good. Yeah. Waterfalls on the left. Oh, yeah. so. oh God, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's pretty. Here. Never seen that happen before. It's a big water over here on this side. Yeah. Raging river there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. You see the sun? Yeah. Got four inches. Oh, look at that tree. Yeah. Oh, it broke off mm -hmm. or hit by lightning. I wouldn't be surprised if we lose a few trees today as saturated as the ground's gonna be with that much rain. Yeah.
feel any better on this little bump up here when you hit the bridge transition. Yeah. I felt one bump back there. It felt maybe like the leaf springs are bottoming out. Lightning took that tree out for it to be broken like that at the bottom. Yeah, yes it did. <laughs> and that's laying on the power lines. <laughs> Just, just get on it. <laughs> Give me a little bumpy ride today. Stay yeah. in the middle. <laughs> yeah, something failed me over here. That's about all wa washed. Yeah. That's doing good. So, yeah, you can just nose in over here and then back into that. Yeah, okay. All right, she did good. Just don't go super far here because you'll get into some mud. Yeah, I'm trying to stay right there. You go. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this one was here for like two weeks. It was just hard. The, the, the shocks we ordered were Bilsteins and they were the wrong ones at first. And then the fronts were on the back and the backs were on the front uh, somehow. Uh, but we figured that out from the factory guy that we talked to and were able to get that straightened out. And then the, uh, the brake rotors, you know, trying to get the right ones because the part, none of the part numbers cross-referenced exactly. They were close. But we just did that little modification to it and everything worked out perfectly and we got them on their, on their way home. Scott will put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Bus Grease Mountain, where the buses come to run. Bus Grease Mountain, we're gonna get that big job done. 